Okay, Mawa Gosha asked, uh, what are your favorite Polish bands, vocalists and or vocalists? What bands, vocalists or vocalists <laughs> from your country can you recommend? Poland, um, but Shadow is very nice. Mm -hmm. um, I really like Bednarek, especially yeah. Chisha. I love that yeah. song. Yeah. Um, and uh, there are some some like classics um, that like the one that says Kocham Cię Kochan. Yeah, yeah, like, oh, I like Republica that song. Also, you like Republica Republica. also. So yeah, there are some. You guys have some really good music. Vocalists from our country. Listen, listen to I, I should say this because he is the biggest um, ambassador for Dominican music. It's Juan Luis Guerra. He is the, the biggest star that we have. And he plays uh, Dominican music, merengue, bachata. He dabble, dabbles on salsa, but it's mostly Dominican bachata. So Juan Luis Guerra, I should, of course. And then we have other things, you know, for you guys that love bachata, Romeo Santos is the Dominican. He's born in the States, but he's to Dominican parents, so he feels very Dominican. If what, you want to see the someone... Who's the with the dreads? That cut the dreads? Yeah. yeah, that's very good. It's actually Vicente Garcia, also Dominican. Yeah. Really good. I know Vicente. So and I for me, him. for me, please check La, La Materialista. La Materialista. I love her. Okay. You will see why. Check her. The Cape DM Love Laugh on Instagram. Only on Instagram, I guess. Only on Instagram. <laughs> Cup to keep your feet warm. You can't wear shoes all the time. It's not good for your feet. Take your socks off and wear some capche. How about if we wear our socks and our capche at the same time? Here you go. Ah! <laughs> oh my god, that is not good capche. <laughs> Look, she's very, nicer. Very, very comfy capche. We wear capche and we wear socks. Adam Koteja, najbardziej zadziwiające i zaskakujące zachowania Polaków, gdy jeszcze nie wiedziałeś o nas zbyt wiele lub podczas pierwszych wizyt w Polsce. What were like the weirdest Polish behaviors that you witnessed when you first came or first interacted with us before you knew us well and understood? Time and how Polish people are very stressed with time, <laughs> like very stressed. And Keep in mind, <laughs> this was 2012. I was very late all the time and very like, oh yeah, sure, we everything will be fine. Um, well, I'm better that. now. You were very proud, like coming downstairs in my parents' house when we were supposed to be somewhere and you're late and you're like, I'm already, I'm ready. And my mom is yeah. like, already? You know, I, have, I don't have any issues with her family, but yeah. I can say that in those times there were a couple of long faces when yeah, right. <laughs> we were about to leave. To um, the other one, which was very, very surprising to me, and it took me a while to understand and to feel comfortable, still sometimes I'm really not that comfortable with it, is how the fights are very explosive, very, very mercurial, very fiery, and then half an hour later, an hour later, think everyone's okay and they're talking. No, no, we're no not going to name names, but you all, Polish watchers know what they Yeah, are. it's like, and sometimes Latinos don't get, if we get to that level, we're gonna be a little it's bit. It's over. We're gonna, yeah, <laughs> or we're gonna be very, it's gonna be feel, it's gonna be feel like, it's gonna feel rough the next couple of days. You're gonna be like, <laughs> you guys are more like half an hour later, eh, fine, it's out of our system and we're good. And that's the wrong If you don't get it out, it will eat you from the inside out. Yeah. Może i głupie pytanie, ale od jakiegoś czasu zastanawiam się, kto ci robi takie fajne zdjęcia. So who takes your pictures? She said a very good pictures. Okay, thank you very much. I take all of my pictures. Uh, I put the camera here, auto mode, focus with the phone, and take And pose. And then a little post production. Like cake modes. Bluetooth 2. What would you like to implement from Poland in Dominican Republic and in UK, and also from Dominican Republic in Poland? Mm -hmm. What would be uh, the, the best, best mix? mix? Also, what would be the worst mix? So it let me creating the ideal country. Let's say the best country, the joy from Dominican Republic, being organized from Poland, and having sense of humor from UK. And the worst country would be building and construction from the UK, <laughs> impatience from Poland. Yeah and time organization from the Dominican Republic. That would be a terrible place to live. <laughs> Victoria Szczelczyk. Szczelczyk. Oh, nice. So, uh, what do you like in Poland the most and what do you hate? Would you prefer to live in Poland or another country? What was your first impression of Polish people when you came? Uh, when you came? Did you think they were nice or not nice? And do you like pierogi? I love pierogi. Polish people, I thought they were uh, a little bit... Reserved, right? Reserved. Sometimes it felt a little rude even because you guys don't have a lot of expressions. So for example, if I ask someone, <laughs> where, is, uh, where is the store? They would say, there. They would not go, uh, oh, here, and you see that store behind? Go to the left, okay, right? You get it? Should I help you? That, that's something, here people would do something like that in the UK. We would do the same. Polish people are more like, you just ask me where's the store. And now is this one. What do you like about Poland? What do you hate? 
I cannot explain it. I don't I like Poland. I cannot give you an answer. I want to say that you guys are happy. But Sometimes you're not. You're not. <laughs> I would like to say that, you know, I don't know. It's you guys have something that I like. Yeah, I go to the country and I feel at home. I feel at ease. That's all I can say. And why I don't like, I don't like I don't like excessive drinking. Uh, and I don't like uh, there's a violent violent behavior that permeates. We're more like, verbally aggressive also yeah, than the exactly yeah, you don't like that. Pola Gier, jak celebrujecie Silvestra, Nowy Rok na Dominikanie? How do we celebrate Silvestra? It's some kind of like a copy of uh, Christmas. Uh, people have dinner again with the family and get together. It looks literally like a photocopy of, of, mm. of uh, um, Christmas. Less party-ish. But then after, uh, if you're young, you go to a party or you go to mm. a friend's house. A lot less formal than in Poland. I think in Poland for New Year's people get, get dressed. Very dressed, like very glam. Very yeah. glam, exactly. You, you don't do we don't do much. that all the time, unless you're going you to a party. To, yeah, but from my perspective, as a foreigner, I compare to po what Polish people do, yeah. you, it is a lot more family oriented, yeah. because in Poland, Christmas is family and Sylvester is, you know, peers and drinking yeah. and just friends. Mm -hmm. uh, and in Dominican Republic, very often you just spend time with family. Sometimes you go out, sometimes you party, but it's like, it's less, less glam and less, you know, black tie situation. Yeah, true. Kakashi Hatake, Lubish Pse. Do you like dogs? Yes, I love dogs. We are more of cat people. We have two cats, Lannister and Lafayette. Um, but I've had many, many dogs. My mom still has a lot of dogs. So yes, I am also a dog person, but slightly more of a cat person. I like dogs, I don't like dog owners. Please clean up poop after your dogs. Thank you, the end. Okay, let's continue now. We're gonna go to Instagram and Facebook questions. Sofia Dorotalo said, would love to know how you learn Polish. Need some motivation for my Latino husband. I will address this on camera, and I'm gonna be really honest with all you guys. I don't, I don't speak Polish as much as maybe you guys think I do. I understand way more than I uh, am able to speak, and I think that my pronunciation, at least based on you know her comments and, and you guys' comment, it's it's decent. And I think and I think it's because of I have a musical ear, so I am able to distinguish a little bit. And she really does a good job. She used to be a teacher, so explaining to me how sh sounds different than j and all those things. So I've tried and I try when I pronounce words in Polish, but I don't speak Polish. I wish I did, and I will. And this one of the big reasons why I have this channel so that I can speak better Polish for my kid and for So our the motivation family. for her Latino husband, watch this channel. Okay, another question by Maria Milonoglu. Milonoglu. Mm -hmm. She asked, how about a little brother or sister for Vigo? Yeah, how about that? <laughs> to be honest with you guys, uh, the pandemic really made ha, has made things very difficult. Um, we did we did want it uh, in this year to kind of like start uh, trying for another baby. Uh, but the reality is that with pandemic and, and how difficult it has been, it, it has not been a good you time. You have to understand that we are alone, all alone yeah. here. And many foreign, many immigrants, uh, you know, struggle with that. that, yeah. that it's harder to get some type of breather or help from family members. And you don't always have a good network if you live abroad. So we are just waiting it out for now to see what's going to happen next year with the yeah. vaccine and if it's going to change if the new strain of the virus is going to go out of control or not yeah. so yeah but we would like to have uh, vigo to have another yeah have a brother or sister yeah for sure we'll see what happens mj messen she asks mm -hmm. how did you and caro know you were ready to have little vigo you know guys it's also an age thing you know we were we were first of all we were married for five years yeah. so we enjoyed our marriage we got to travel we got to go many places and and you know basically enjoy our each other's company by ourselves and we just thought if we want to have a couple of kids uh, it's better to start. to start so our situation was you know pretty stable when it comes to those uh, practical things and we just felt the desire to really wanted to have a little baby that will look like apparently one Either of us, us. only <laughs> Claudia Niski asks, do you have any issues with expressing or describing 100% of your feelings in English? Um, no, not really. If we don't have a word in mind, we just throw a glass on the floor. No, I think we're pretty good, both of us, uh, pretty fluent in English. And sometimes we seem to be even more comfortable expressing like intimate language or like passionate language or argument language in yeah. English than in our native tongues just because it's been so long yeah. of us talking about those things in English. Yeah. Okay, so Rubia Nelviaje, she asked, 
do you see any similarity between Dominican Republic people and Polish people? Yes, mm. uh, surprisingly, uh, the, the Polish people and Dominican people share the love for family. Yeah. Family is very important for We Polish are not Russia. distant, like some cultures are. Yeah. When like kids are adult, they just do their own thing and they yeah. don't meet too much. And with the good and the bad, it comes with we're all a lot closer, yeah. close knit people. Okay, Debrinsky asks, three questions I'll merge into one. Uh, datos curiosos, poco conocidos, supersticiones polacas, costumbres y tradiciones poco conocidas, mm -hmm. mitos y realidad. Some uh, myths uh, versus reality in Poland. That is cold all of the time. I thought it was cold mm -hmm. all of the time and it's not, summer is quite hot. Polish superstition, I love this one. You guys have so many. First of all, foot, foot, foot. What is, what is that? Yeah. Take it out. Gotta, you gotta do you have, it. You have to do it. Otherwise. So we don't say hello in the door. You don't say at hello the at the door. But that's that's a also a big one in like older generations. Yeah. I remember the first time it happened to me was your mom. We were about to go out and I was standing at the door and I was like, okay, mama, do videnia. And she's like, I'm like, what is happening? Yeah. She asks. Your favorite moment when Vigo smiles at you. I think the favorite moment when he smiled at me was when he first obviously said mama. This mm, was her favorite yeah, I still remember. The favorite moment of all time. He said, mama, he blew me a kiss and he smiled. So that was uh, me. What that about was you? Uh, I don't know, I don't remember, but that was so beautiful. Let's just stay with that one. Yeah. Also, Estemania Sima says, what is the number one thing you use as a dad? It's something that I use the most the first year uh, of our lives with Vigo was uh, the yoga bowl. Remember those yoga bowls that you go and you bounce and you can do crunches and supposedly... This, is, this was originally for pregnancy. For pregnancy. Because it helps you kind of like exercise and prepare yeah. for labor and then it helps you bounce your baby to sleep. Oh my god, I used that like I cannot tell hours. you whole year and hours and hours and hours. hours. Put him here and then on the bowl you're just bouncing and it's, it's just quite comfy. And finally, uh, Anya asks, what was the biggest surprise about parenthood that you did not expect? I definitely didn't expect that Vigo is going to be a poor sleeper for such a long time. That was a big hit, like I got hit in the head yeah. like, with this. And, that possibility, right? Yeah, and kind of the, I remember the realization when you, it was already a little bit longer into it, like the hormones after pregnancy and after birth already kind of calmed down and yep. I was not running on adrenaline of, trying to provide everything I could. It was like a moment of a, like a breather. Yeah. And then it hit me and I know it's gonna sound scary. Maybe I shouldn't say that, but it would hit me like, this is forever. The responsibility, right? Yes, like the responsibility. Like this is forever. Like there's not a week away or a weekend away. Yeah. You don't even want to because maybe some parents do it and there's a moment in time that you use this type of time away. Yeah. Uh, but in our situation, like we didn't have you know, the network that would make it possible, like a family around and stuff. Yeah. So that hit me. I was like, there's your, your life as you know it is over forever. Thanks. It is better in many aspects. It is worse in some aspects, but it hits, it hits you like, oh my God, like this is forever. To me, honestly speaking, I just thought that I was gonna have more time. You see a lot of people and they have a baby and you, and this might be very particular to our situation. You can be completely different. Yeah. Uh, but if you read online, there are many, 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 many families that also have the same thing. So it's not a, a big old problem. Um, yeah. some, some kids would uh, have two naps for two hours and then you, you have a little breather. Uh, we didn't have that. And so therefore our first year, first year and a half was a hundred percent full on, a hundred percent full on. Yeah. Like, like when I say a hundred percent full on, like a hundred percent full, we didn't go to the movies for more than a year and a half. We basically didn't, yeah. So that surprised me a lot. I thought I was gonna be able to, you know, because napping, I'll put him here next to me, yeah. put on headphones and I'll keep working on producing this song. So the last question is by Fusha Soul and and she asks, uh, when it comes to mixed relationships, what are the similarities in both your cultures? And she also mentions that uh, she and her partner, they find a lot of similarities from their cultures, which is India and Germany. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we find a lot of similarities that are personality similarities. Okay, well, similarities, to be honest, we, we are in a kind of like a particular case. I will explain. Dominican Republic and Poland, aside from the fact that we those cultures both uh, treasure and, and, and you know are very uh, family based oriented, and yeah. oriented. Mm -hmm. There really aren't that many similarities, seriously speaking. But 
uh, I think that one is such a strong one. The fact that, you know, we are, I'm very close to my mom. She's very close to her parents. So we can both understand that. We can speak the same language. So we together are very close because we understand that dynamic. And to be fair, in our particular case, Karina is not stereotypically Polish and I'm not stereotypically Dominican. So um, our similarities are more like personality based. Exactly, exactly. So we actually made a video of how we are similar and why we would make great couples. Yeah. But why we would make great, great couples, I mean Dominicans and Polish people, yeah. was kind of based on how our differences complement each other. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. That's a, that's a great way to say it. More yep. than we are similar is how we find a way to make it work, doesn't matter what. Through all the pain. Differences, <laughs> you know, we just power through. <laughs> Boom, that's all guys. That's the end of the episode. Thank you very much for all the wonderful questions. A lot of questions, which means that I haven't edited this just yet, but I know it's gonna be a lot Long. longer video than usually I put out. But if it's a Q and A and you click on a Q and A about us, probably you might be just interested in going through all the rambling. <laughs> um, you made us do it. But we enjoyed it thoroughly. Have a great year 2021. We hope it's gonna be better than 2020. Yeah. And we're gonna do everything we can next year to bring you some joy through our channel and we are very grateful that you are sticking with us. And finally, 20... See you in 2021. Boom!